Hey everyone, today I am doing a chit chat get ready with me and I did not know what to film so I just thought to film one of these since I haven't filmed a talk through one in forever and guys these usually are long so if you guys don't like long videos this one probably won't be for you but I'm just going to get started and I'm going to take a face lotion and this is the Bonds Pi Biohydrate um, just like one and this is in my December favorites if you guys didn't know I'll put the link down below. But, as you guys see, my face is really broke out. Um, honestly, it's from birth control. Um, I, when I go back to the doctor, I'm going to have them switch it, but right now, we just have to live with the acne. Um, there's nothing really I can do. I've tried everything. It's just when most people take birth control, um, you, you get really bad breakouts. So, I have... It's not even really broke out anymore. It's just super red, and it's like the end stages, like the phases, um or stages not phases but yeah so I'm just going to try to cover all that up the next thing we are going to do I'm just going to take a face primer I'm going to take the L'Oreal one this is the L'Oreal magic perfecting base and I got this from the Dollar Tree I already have a backup of it so I'm just going to apply this to the t-zone area and um let me know if you guys like the lighting i do not like it to tell you guys the truth like i love my lighting setup i just need to get new bulbs because i feel like it's a little bit blue so let me see something real quick so i just tried to fix it i put it on daylight and it was so much worse and i have it just on audio of which means it kind of like tries to balance it out everything on its own but yeah and today just like my hair is not working it just feels like nothing's working so hopefully this makeup look turns out. I have no clue what I'm going for, but this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. I usually put this under my eyes, but since my face is really scarred right here, I'm going to start covering up some acne. I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is just that liquid mousse foundation. I'm going to try to finish using this up, so I'm just going to take this. I think the look I'm going to go for is maybe a more old school Hollywood glam look. I haven't done one of these in forever, and I really want to use my um, Naked Basics palette because, I don't know, I feel like it would just give the right type of eyeshadow look. And then I got this, I think it's matte red, um... I got a lipstick last night that I really, 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 really want to try, and it's red, so that's the look I feel like we're going to be going for. Even though I'm wearing a pink shirt, we're just going to wing it, guys. And I'm taking my Sigma F80, and this is actually really dark. We're just going to have to blend this down the neck. Um, this looks like we're starting out great, guys. <laughs> so much darker than my body um so I'm literally trying to blend it down the neck area and I'm going to try to lighten it up by putting a very very light um colored powder on top of it because this is super dark so you guys let's just excuse that and act like it's the same shade <laughs> take my essence match to cover creamy concealer and this is called 10 natural beige I'm just going to take this shade right here and I'm just going to run this under my eyes to lighten everything up. I'm going to mix two concealers together. I'm going to take this one. Then I'm going to take my MUA. Just because that is in my project pan. And I haven't really been using any makeup since my face has broke out. Um, so I really want to try to use that up before um, January. So when I do my project pan update. So I'm just going to overlap that because... This isn't as bright as I would like it to be, so I'm just going to take the MUA Hide Everything Concealer, and I'm pretty sure this is in light. Let's see. Yeah, this is in light, so I'm just going to kind of apply this, because I want it to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to take my Real Techniques. I think this is their pointed foundation brush. I like this for um, concealer under my eyes because I feel like this is just too tiny to be a foundation brush. Let me know what you guys think if you guys have this set. I honestly think it's ridiculously tiny to be a foundation brush but hey that's just my opinion. I'm going to 
to take my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. This is one of the lightest powders I have. Plus, I'm almost done with it, so I really just want to finish using it up. But since it is a um, powder that you have to tap out, it kind of takes a while for all the product to come out. But I'm just going to apply this with my e.l.f. What is this? Kabuki Face Brush. And I'm just going to apply this and tap it off because it gets a lot of fallout. a lot better and kind of matches me just a tad bit better but I'm going to apply a bronzer just to get that done and out of the way I'm going to take this master bronzer by Maybelline and this is called 310 week in bronze um, I'm going to apply this with one of my new real technique brushes I just have to find one first because literally they're so cram packed in here I need something better but I'm just going to take this let's what is this brush called I don't have a memory yet because I hardly use them. Contour brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to tap it off and I'm going to contour. Lightly contour. Nothing major like I usually do. I'm going to change it up just because I'm going for more of a pen up look and I'm just going to lightly do this. Under the lip. Then I'm going to come in with a, um, duo, duo, I can't never, never pronounce that, I can't never, never, duo fiber face brush, and this is one of their, um, limited edition ones, and it's just a white brush, I absolutely love this for blending products out, just so they're not harsh. I'm going to take more of a darker blush, I'm going to take, which one? to take the Jordana blush in Redwoods and I'm just going to apply this to the back of my cheeks and I'm going to take my Equal Tools Stippling Face Brush and I'm just going to apply this and kind of blend it in with that bronzer. You guys can apply your blush where you want but I personally like starting mine towards the back of my cheeks. I feel like that just fits my face shape the best but you guys could do what you want. It's makeup. It's not like it has to be exactly you know like I don't know what I'm trying to say but you guys understand like it's makeup do it how you want like no one could tell you how you want to do it so if you want to put a big blush like spot right here go for it it's your life boo I'm going to take the Jordana eyeshadow pencil and this is an 04 almond or continuous almond but I'm just going to put this on and kind of let it sink into my eyelids while I do my eyebrows after this and my eyebrow routine has changed a lot um, just because my eyebrows all got whacked off and then I started having to fill them in a lot darker to make them look like they're um, actually there and I actually have eyebrows so um, if you guys are following me on Instagram you may have seen about a month ago this happened so and I was freaking out but I take the MUA palette in Undressed and I take the very second to last shade, and that's called shade 5. And it's this one right here. It's just a matte brown. And I fill in my brows with this. I'm just going to speed this up because this does take a while. Take the Rimmel Brow Pencil, and this is called Hazel. It's super, like tiny because I've used the heck out of this but what I do is I just kind of draw on a arc and then kind of make it darker towards the end I really just like the look with the powder and the pencil I extend my eyebrows just a little bit because the hair isn't growing right there so while it's not growing there I gotta fill it in boo so this is the overall eyebrows I know they kind of look dark but once you get eyeshadow on and everything they look totally fine and this headband is really irritating the shiz out of me we're going to take the naked basics palette by urban decay and i'm just going to kind of make a smoky look um kind of natural but smoky at the same time if that makes any sense we'll just work with this but i'm going to take foxy and i'm going to apply this all over the lid which is the second shade in the palette and foxy comes in the naked two palette as a well um i have this shade and it's amazing i'm just going to put this on with my sigma e55 eyeshadow brush i'm going to take 
um, Naked 2, and I'm just going to run this into my crease just to give a transition shade. Take Faint, which is the darker brown, and I'm going to apply this to the outer half and work this into my crease. I just literally took a chunk out of Venus and I just had to pat it all back in. I hate when I do that. I haven't even used that shade and a whole chunk just came out of it. So that makes me super depressed in life. Has anybody ever done that with a new shadow? Please let me know because that is just sad. <laughs> so I'm just going to start blending this with a e.l.f. eye blending brush. I really want to get a new one because these bristles are kind of hurting my eyes. Like... They're not as soft as they used to be since I've washed it a lot. I'm naked too, and I'm blending it on top of Faint. So this is the look we have so far. I'm going to take Foxy, and I'm going to apply this under my um, brow bone. And I love Foxy just because it is a yellow-based eyeshadow, and that is more of my skin tone colors. So I just love Foxy. Um, Venus, I feel like I'm kind of scared to use. I'm just going to put that in my inner tear duct. And I want to highlight with Venus just because it is sparkly. And me personally, I like a matte highlight. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to finish blending this out. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to put Venus in my inner tear duct. which is the darkest color and I'm just going to kind of smoke this into the crease and darken it up just a little bit then I will be taking a concealer and I'm going to make this very straight line um, just because I want it to be very defined and just looking very nice and clean So I just applied that black very messily but I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to take the elf um, natural, like, what, the e.l.f. blending eye brush, but this is from, like, their natural collection. This is one of my favorite blending eyeshadow brushes, and I'm just going to start blending that darker shade on the outer half of my eye. So I'm definitely going to be pairing this with a red lip. I was going for more of a pinup look, but this is more of just a smoky eye. Using this palette, and I really wanted to film a tutorial with this, even though this palette has been out for a while. Um, it's a brand new palette to me, so I really wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be working with this palette. And I feel like this is great for just traveling and on the go, or if you just need um, to throw something in your purse. It literally has all the shades you need. I don't know if you guys know this, but in about four months five months I'm going to Hawaii for my senior trip because I'm graduating high school this year and I will probably be, be taking this just because it has neutral shades and I lean more towards that and I don't want to be taking a lot of product so having this is great then I'm going to fast forward this part but I'm just going to take the hard candy glamour flash concealer and I'm going to just make a straight line with a concealer See now I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see but I just took that light concealer and I defined it because I really wanted it to be like very sharp so let me show you guys so this is what it looks like with the, with the concealer I could not talk sorry but I'm just going to finish blending this out and I will be right back so I am going to stop the camera because I do need to blend this out and I'm just going to blend it out with my finger so I will show you guys this side so I'm going to do finish doing this side and then do the side off camera as well I just did winged eyeliner and I followed that straight line and now that really helps me and then I just put on some mascara and it was the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Now that guys this swing is really messed up we're just going to act like we can't see that side but this swing looks really good um, and I love it. liquid eyeliner I just used the elf and guys I'm not the best at liquid eyeliner but I am practicing and practice makes perfect and I know they're very uneven but honestly I even tried to clean it up with a q-tip um so this always happens that's why I really don't show it on camera just because I really suck at it and I'm trying to get better and I feel like wings is just something you really have to practice so lately that's just what I've been doing and I feel like honestly the elf liquid eyeliner does not help with 
practicing because I'm starting to realize the brush is not that good. So if you guys have any recommendations for a liquid eyeliner, please let me know. But I'm just going to take this Maybelline Sheer Cocoa Lip Liner and this is just a nude color to outline my lips for a bright red lipstick. stay with that lip color choice and just do kind of a natural look but I'm going to go for this red color and this is by L'Oreal and it's called Blazing Sangara maybe it's 714 I actually found this from my local 99 cent store and it was there for $1.99 so I picked up a whole bunch of stuff I will be doing a haul and you guys have probably already seen that haul but I'm just going to apply this So this is the overall look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. I know this was a little bit longer video, but if you stuck with me all throughout the end, thank you so much. Please give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. Request any type of videos down below you guys would like me to do for you guys, and have a wonderful day. Bye!